Hello artists, today we will begin working on a turtle inspired by Aboriginal paintings. Aboriginal art comes from the indigenous people of Australia. Some Aboriginal rock art, which you can still see today, dates back more than 20,000 years. Their art was a way to tell stories of the people's beliefs and culture, and also to teach how to survive and use the land. They used symbols in their art to tell these stories. These stories are very important to their culture, and they are passed down through families. If an artist wishes to paint a story, they must ask the family's permission first. Notice the colors, lines, and patterns incorporated in these artworks. Today we'll be focusing on lines. Now on to our turtle project. First step is to fold the paper in half. Match up those corners. Pull down your finger, then crease it left and right. On this side, you will be drawing a large oval. This will be the turtle's shell. Practice with your finger first to know where you want your curves to be. Then use very light sketching lines. You can always erase. As you finish the outline, think about what kind of lines and designs you would like to decorate your turtle's shell with. If you wish, you can add a smaller oval inside to give the turtle shell a rim. Now that you have sketched the outlines, you can trace them with the neon oil pastels. Don't be afraid to make that outside line thick. You can always trim it down when we cut it out later. Your goal is to use at least three or four different types of lines in your design. Now it's time to get creative and colorful. Now switch on over to Oil Pastel's best friend, Liquid Watercolors. Now watercolor resist paint each section. Don't forget to clean your brush in between colors. your name and class code to the corner and you're done with day one. Hello folks, welcome to day two of our Aboriginal Turtle Project. Aborigines began communicating with each other and educating each other by painting on rocks over 20,000 years ago. It wasn't until 1971 when Jeffrey Barden, a teacher, encouraged the elders of the community to paint their stories on canvas. This began the famous Aboriginal art movement in Australia. Today we will be using chalk pastels blended together with liquid starch to build a background color for the body parts of the turtle. Choose three analogous colors. Those are colors right next to each other on the color wheel. Gently rub the chalk pastel on sections of the paper. Make sure to overlap and touch the different colors. Go all the way out to the edge. Don't forget a messy mat like I did. To blend the chalk pastels, dip your finger in the liquid starch and blend in small circles. Make sure you go all the way off the edge onto the messy mat.
And that's it for day two. Welcome back to day three of our Aboriginal turtle project. First, we'll start by cutting out the turtle shell. Make sure there's no white space on the outside edge. Now for the body parts. Fold the chalk pastel side in half. Here on the left and right side, you will sketch out one front leg and one back leg. The front leg is curved and the back leg is straight. Leave the body parts open-ended to make them longer than they will be on their finished turtle. This allows for gluing space. Now open it up so you can draw the head right in the middle. When cutting out the legs, fold it in half so you're cutting out two legs at the same time. Now open it back up to cut out the head. Now on to gluing. Apply the glue to the front of the body part where it will go underneath the shell. Remember, dots, not lots. Make sure to hold it for a few seconds. Now, glue it on the black background page. It can be at any direction or angle that you wish. So you have your placement planned out, flip them over, dots not lots around the outside edges. I found it easier to glue down the turtle shell, flip it over, place him on, and then lift up the arms and legs to add the glue where it's needed. Give him a good old pat down to make sure he's secure. Write your name and class code on the back. And that's a wrap for day three. Welcome to the fourth and final day of our Aboriginal Turtle Project. In the Aboriginal art, you can often find these lines of dots. It's a common theme and we will be using it for the background of our turtle. We will be using neon tempera paint with Q-tips to make the dot shape. Make your first row of dots near the turtle. Follow the curves and the corners to outline its shape. Change colors for each row and continue your dot lines. There you have your finished Aboriginal Turtle Project. Thanks for making art with me.